Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. I have a fun wear test for you today. So I'll be doing a wear test on a new foundation that recently came on the market from Maybelline. The Superstay Full Coverage Foundation from Maybelline and I have the shade 220 Natural Beige, which if you're interested in seeing how it swatches and how it applies to the face, then just keep on watching because that is coming right up. If you're interested in how long it wears, a wear test is coming up as well, so don't worry about that. My skin is normally an NC35. Right now I would say I'm about an NC30 because I haven't self-tanned in a while. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, then hit that subscribe button it helps you keep up with my videos and hit that bell notification to get post notifications whenever I post. That's all I have to say for now so let's go right into the application and review of this product. All right, so I have applied my eye makeup and my lashes. Um, I don't have anything on my face. I've applied moisturizer. I do not have any concealer on. I primed with my Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer, which I use quite often when I'm feeling dry and um, around my nose, because I mainly just, I just use it on my nose area to fill in pores. The foundation we're reviewing today is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation, which just came out recently. I have the shade 220 Natural Beige. Because it is a new product, there was just a small display up in the drugstore that I go to so there are only about five shades to choose from that is not Maybelline's fault it's just that my store and in Canada in general don't have many shades yet and it looks like online at Ulta there's about 16 shades of this foundation it does say this has up to 24 hours of continuous wear both breathable and comfortable on um, fade and transfer resistant it's oil free it says it doesn't clog pores it's also dermatologist tested which is good this foundation is supposed to be full coverage so we are going to put that to the test and it also is supposed to be long wearing which we are also going to put to the test so I just remove the plastic lid here and it does come with a pump which I am happy about I kind of thought it was a glass um, top I like the white it is gonna get dirty super fast and the pump is yeah a little plasticky and so is this lid but the glass bottle is nice apparently in the States this is retailing for $9.99 at Target and $11.99 at Ulta in Canada this is retailing for $19.99 which is a little bit pricey I don't know why the price bump up so much. All right guys, so we are going to zoom in and apply the foundation and yeah, let's do this. I'm just going to be blending my foundation with the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and mine does look a little dirty, but I promise that I just washed it. All right, so we're going to go in and I'm going to do what I normally do with foundation. We're going to go on the back of my hand and put, do one full pump because I'm just going to dot this on my face and then we will blend out. Now we're ready to blend. I've just dotted the foundation. And I'm just going to be pressing and tapping it into my skin to blend it. Definitely full coverage. It isn't drying too fast where I'm not able to blend it, which, I, which happened with the Fenty Beauty Foundation. Moving it around a little bit and then patting it in where we want the coverage. I'm going to add more coverage where I think I need it. I don't usually use the big end of the sponge. I usually just use the small end, even though that should probably be for concealer. I don't know why. I just find it's easier to maneuver and get around. And I'm just going to bring this down the neck because it is a little bit dark. All right, so we've applied the foundation. I've done one layer plus a little bit of spot concealing with a second layer. I've given it a second to dry down as well. I will say that uh, the color is a little bit orangey for me. It has oxidized a touch. One thing I'll say is I really like how smooth my nose is. I do use that pore filling primer by Tarte, but it doesn't help a ton. And like this didn't cling to any dryness, which I do have a ton of dryness right now because it is so, so cold right now here um, in Canada. And it just smoothed out a lot of my skin. My nose almost has like a shine to it so I wouldn't say it's a matte finish. On my cheeks there were spots where it was kind of drying and then they also look a little bit like I've added a powder which is not a bad thing but it just looks a little bit more of a powder finish. So I would say it does have good coverage. Um, you can see how yellow I am looking right now. There's a little bit of like clinginess to dry patches but the coverage is pretty good. I didn't want to do a full second layer of foundation. I just wanted to do what I normally do so I did one layer and then I added spots uh, where I wanted a little bit more coverage it definitely is a cross between a natural finish and a powdery finish I don't know if that makes any sense at all but we will see how it wears all right so I'm just gonna apply the rest of my makeup and I will be right back this is the final makeup look that I've created today we are now gonna do a wear test so I will see you 
then. Hey guys, so change of plans. I applied my makeup in the video as you just saw, um, but then I was like, oh my gosh, I'm actually so tired. So I went to bed um, before eight o'clock p.m. I'm still jet lagged from my holiday trip, blew the red eye and then went straight to school. And so I'm just like super out of it and still on West Coast time and I'm back on the East Coast. So basically I applied my makeup and then I was like, oh no, I'm starting to get tired. And I was like, I don't want to film anymore. And then I was like, stay up, stay up. And then I like fell asleep. So I just applied my makeup. It's actually like just before I'm gonna head to school, I just need to change, but I've um, done my makeup. So I applied the makeup again. Um, I obviously don't have any false lashes. This is pretty much how I do my makeup for school on an everyday basis. Today I felt like I put my moisturizer on directly before I put on the foundation, which is more like what I would normally do. And I found that it went on a little bit smoother. There's still spots where it went on a tad patchy. It definitely has more of like a drier, powdery finish. Yesterday on the nose, it looked a little bit more shiny, but today I would say it's still a little shiny, but it's a little bit more of a powder finish today. If you look from afar, I think the makeup looks pretty good. Just wanted to come on and show you that I'm doing the wear test on a different day. So it is 7.42 a.m. right now. I'll be going to school. I go to school until 3.30 and then I have to drive home. So I'll be um, back to do a check-in at four o'clock and I, then I will wear it into the evening so we can do a really long wear test to really get an idea of how this wears. Through the day at school, I will not be touching up at all. So I will see you guys then. Hey guys, so I'm back from school. I did absolutely no touch-ups. I've just worn it through the day. The time right now, I don't know if you can see that, it's 3.52. So it has been just under eight and a half hours, just a little bit under, just between eight and eight and a half hours of wear because I applied it around 7.30. Checked in though at 7.42. And I'm back here now at 3.52. I definitely am less oily than I normally am. Um, by the end of the day, even with setting powder, I did add the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Powder to my entire face. So that did help a little bit, I think. It's a lot less oil than I normally get with my right now fave of the moment, uh, which is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. It still looks a little patchy right here and here as well fine lines it didn't settle too badly but i am getting a little bit right here which i don't really get too much with my milani it looks like i'm losing a little bit of coverage underneath my nose and on the tip of my nose as well it also is a little bit shiny um starting in the t-zone yeah i just don't love the look of the foundation also it looks like so my lips are really dry and i need to apply some chapstick however it looks like around my lips that the foundation is kind of like flaked off a bit or like rubbed off and it has oxidized a lot. It oxidized in the morning and I thought I looked a little bit orange, but I find like right now I look super orange. Thoughts are still mixed. We will keep wearing it though. It's only 342. I'm gonna have a snack, get a little bit of studying done, watch some TV, edit some YouTube videos, eat dinner, and then I will come back later tonight to do a final check-in and give you my final thoughts. See you guys then. Hey guys, so I am back. It is 9.42. So total time wearing this foundation has been 14 hours. I applied it this morning before going to school. Went to school for about eight hours. Seven hours. I think I had seven hours of school today, which was an easier day. Did my check-in around 3.40 and then I went about my day or went about the rest of my Friday evening. I thought I was gonna get a bunch of stuff done and do homework and be like a really good student. I ended up napping for three hours. Ah, I'm like narcoleptic. I did sleep on this side of my face. I definitely like lost my um, bronzer and blush there and yeah, the foundation is gone as well. It didn't get too much worse from the check-in in the afternoon. The foundation is gone from my tip of my nose, around my mouth. There's a little bit of creasing in the smile lines. It's a little bit shiny in the t-zone still and then it still is emphasizing the pores around my nose it's not terrible like i could go out like this it's not the best and i have ha found a foundation that works a little bit better for me so i don't think i'll be reaching for this so final thoughts guys super safe foundation definitely not my holy grail for 2018 but i will be using it i think i'm gonna mix it i think mixing it in with a lighter coverage foundation would be good and probably something a little bit lighter if you're looking for something more full coverage 
and long wearing and you already like Maybelline products, this might be for you. And I would also use a pore filling primer because to me at first it was very smoothing. As it wore through the day though, it ended up emphasizing my pores more, which is not my favorite. It definitely does not last for 24 hours. That is a complete lie because I did 14 hours of wear and it's not looking that wonderful right now. Aww. I'm glad I tried it out. I wanted to see for myself. I knew a lot of the beauty bloggers were testing it out recently and I wasn't sure if it would work for my skin. I have combination skin, a little bit more dry because it is cold and my skin color is about an NC30 I would say right now and this is 220 natural beige which is a little bit of an orangey yellow tone foundation which oxidized to be a little bit more orange as the day went on, so just a heads up there. Hope you learned a little bit about the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. If you did end up liking the video, then hit that like button down below. Helps me out a ton. If you want to follow me on social media, I'll put my handles up here, but I will put links down below in the description box so you can check that out. Any other makeup products that I use in this video, they will also be in the description box, and if you have any questions, you can always ask me. Hope I see you very soon in my next video.